All right, what we're going to be talking about in this video is Sonoc. I've had a bunch of people ask me, Riggs, why have you been uploading so much content on this map? We're going to break everything down. We're going to talk about ranking. We're going to talk about how you can better your skills. How I've personally, a lot of you guys have also mentioned it to me in the comment section and in other uh, areas of social media, how I've you guys have noticed me improving my gameplay. So we're going to talk about things that you can do on this map and this map alone to help your gameplay, how you can rank up, and all the cool things that this map has to offer. It's a very polarizing map. A lot of people either love it or hate it. So we're going to talk about my uh, thoughts and opinions on it. And definitely I want to know down in the comment section what your opinions are. Uh, again, there's no better feedback from you, the viewer. So in the comment section, let me know what you think of Sonoc. And of course, all the new subscribers that have joined, if you guys haven't yet, or if you haven't yet, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and again, I'll be very, very interested uh, to read all your guys' comments. So, now, one thing I want to give a huge, huge credit to with this map and how I've been able to increase my gameplay and become better at close quarter combat fights, as well as those mid-range fights, if you're looking for... Uh, sniper action if you're trying to increase your sniping skills Sonoc of course is not going to be the map for you not to mention over 50% of the matches are always going to be in the fog mode so it's not going to be ideal for someone who's trying to increase uh, their long distance snipes uh, you know with the bolt actions and things like that but if you want to increase your close quarter combat skills, there's no map better than Sonic. It's one of the few maps that you can play where you can pretty much consistently get action from the very start of your match all the way through. And that's because of the size. It's a 4x4 four four kilometer. It's the smallest map in the game, at least on the mobile platform, sitting at 4x4. Four four. So pretty much throughout your entire game, you're going to have engagements you're going to constantly have close quarter combat engagements this is not going to be a map where you're going to camp and be very successful we'll go ahead and talk about the snakes and how to deal with that uh, a little bit later but as far as the hot drops there's so i mean there's not a place you can go that's going to be quote unquote safe uh, respectfully speaking. I mean, you have Paradise, you have Boot Camp, you have Pinon, which is where I'm always dropping, you have Ruins, you have Docks, I mean, and even all the places on the outskirts, you can land Cow, Hot Tin, and of course you have the, you know, Camp Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, all those places, Sami, there's no place you can go on this map where you're not going to be confronted by somebody, and sometimes the best way for you to get better is to challenge yourself and that's what's so amazing about this map now in the other maps of course there's going to be hot drops where you're going to see people but typically we'll use pachinki because it's so iconic we'll use that as an example once you land pachinki and you clear it it might be a while before you end up finding another team especially those of you that are playing classic matches that are trying to rank up what ends up happening is usually again using pachinki as an example you're you'll clear pachinki and after the first circle, there might only be 35 or 40 players left on the field. And it might be a while until you have another engagement. That's the big difference in Sonoc is you're always going to have those close quarter combat engagements. It's going to force you to be closer to players, closer to enemies. To And that, and, and that alone is what's going to increase your reaction time by constantly dropping and constantly being challenged for these locations. So that is one thing that I, I that definitely attracts me to this map is those close quarter combat fights. All right, now, I know a lot of you guys watch this channel solely based on ranking and how to rank up. One thing I would like to say, it the information is kind of out there, but I still think a lot of people don't know, and that is the different weathers that Sonoc, or the different types of weather that Sonoc has. What I mean by that is, for those of you trying to rank up who will often complain, and if your complaints are valid, that Sonoc has uh, less points distributed at the end of each match. And a lot of that could be solely based on weather. What I mean by that is, if you play in a what we call like a sunny map or like the sunshine uh, 
weather in Sanok, it's you're going to get less points. Plain and simple, you're not going to get as many points. There, there'll be times, say you're in Crown, or say you're in Upper Diamond, you know, you could have 8, 10 kills and only get like a plus 15. A lot of this is you have to pay attention to the different weather patterns, if you will. If you're going to play Sonok and you're trying to rank up, where you're trying to get a lot of kills, you're trying to get more games in in a short amount of time, play the fog matches. The fog matches, you get way more points. I'm not sure if you guys knew that, but like I said, just want to get that information out there for you. And another reason, a huge, huge reason why I really love Sonok, uh, especially, I don't know if there's been some sort of a nerf but I've heard other content creators complain about it as well as you, the viewers. And that is the overall loot distribution in this game. A lot of people are saying that uh, Tencent needs to up the loot spawns in Erangel, especially Miramar with scopes. It can often be very difficult to find loot. And it seems like they've scaled back the loot in a lot of the hot drop locations like Crates, like Picado, like Pachinki. It's very, very difficult. Razak. Uh, and some of these other places, even military, can sometimes be difficult for, for an entire squad to walk out full of ARs. One thing that's awesome about Sonok, aside from the QBZ or the QBU, is the loot. If you guys want to have loot, you can drop anywhere on this map and you will walk out pretty much armored, at least level 2 out, if not level 3 and the, the amount of loot, and, and not, not just weapons themselves, but the attachments. We're talking about armor. We're talking about all the different boosts and meds. I mean, you name it, it's all right there. The scopes, everything you need. It is absolutely incredible the amount of loot that Sonic has. I almost wish that. And, and you have to understand, they designed this map solely for that. So you can drop down get your loot, and start fighting. Uh, it plays much, much differently than the other maps, and the loot spawn in this map is perfect, again, if you're trying to increase the amount of kills that you get per game, to increase the amount of confrontations that you have with enemies, to force you to challenge yourself uh, in order to get those kills, Sonok is it. All right, now we're gonna talk about two of the complaints that a lot of people have, and I'll try to shed some light on it. I'm not, this isn't just, you know, me just say, oh, Sonok's the best, just play Sonok. There are a couple complaints, and yes, the complaints are valid, and that is the vehicles, which we're gonna talk about briefly, and of course, the snakes. So first and foremost, the vehicles. Again, it's how the map was designed. Originally, I think, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say before there used to be a Dacia. Uh, I think Dacias used to spawn on Sonok, as well as I think the VW bus. Uh, for those of you OG uh, viewers out there, uh, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the Dacia, the VW bug, the the buggies. I know that the buggies always been there, but the vehicles. I hear you loud and clear. If you are trying to get a vehicle, the best one for your squad is going to be buggies everything else is complete trash and they did that for a reason and that's for you'd have like an op squad that would you know you know grab a dossier or grab a vw bug run through the map they'd clear the map in 15 minutes because of how quick you can get from point a to point b throughout the map in vehicles they designed it that way to make it to where you have to make those rotations on foot using the terrain to your advantage getting those rotations in um, and yeah, so that's why there was originally that vehicle nerf, if you want to call it that. And also because it's such a small map, you have to understand that a lot of the time you don't want to be in a vehicle. Even if you have a buggy, you don't even want to use it solely based on the fact um, that the enemies can hear you. You can be shot from all over, from every single direction, just because of how much uh, hardcover there is, plus all different objects that people can hide behind and things like that. Uh, sometimes it's even better to go on foot specifically for this map. Not Miramar, not Erangel, not Bikindi, you know, the much more wide open space maps. Uh, going on foot is not going to be ideal, but Sonic was designed solely for that purpose. And I think it's a very, very unique aspect to this map that the other maps don't have. All right. And lastly, we're going to talk about the snakes. Now, we all know how controversial, or that it's such a controversial topic, uh, snaking. Now, we've all, we all understand, I think we can all agree that there are times in the game 
where snaking, especially in the final circles, where sometimes you just won't be able to get around it, right? We all find ourselves, even if you bash it, there's going to be times where, and I would even consider that snaking. This is more of a strategy. It also depends on the type of zone you have. Uh, very rarely are you just going to be standing out in the open if it's like a you know, just a complete open field or an open patch in the map, and that's where the final circle ends. I'm sorry, if you want to win that game, you're going to drop down. You know what I'm saying? You're going to prone out. The difference between the strategy, if someone's going to be snaking, especially in the last zone or two, and the difference between between somebody just running by, they shoot you, you spectate them, and you see that they're, you know, in gold five. It's not going to be every single game where that happens, if we're all going to be honest here. And the person who's doing that is only hurting themselves. They're not going to be getting any better at the game. Uh, but the difference is for you to be able to identify especially in those later circles where somebody could possibly be snaking. And at the end of the day, it really is a strategy uh, that often has to be used in certain circles. But don't let one snake you know, completely ruin your experience. And again, it's something you're going to run into. And for those of you that are third-person perspective players, uh, it's, just go it's just part of the game, you know, whether you agree with it or not. Uh, but I, I really hope that that alone is not going to keep you from this game. I mean, again, the difference between the weathers, the, the immense amount of hot drops, being able to get better at close quarter combats, and the fact that you can pretty much have action in most games from the very start to the very end, that's what it's all about is having fun, getting in those gunfights, and there's nothing, nothing in this game um, like boot camp, like Paradise, even Pan Am, since I've been dropping there, that place is lit. Uh, whether you're playing duos, squads, not 100% sure about solos, uh, but duos and squads, the, there are some sweaty matches um, that are being played on, on Sonic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all of the action that I've been getting into. Uh, big, big shouts to my partner, Jacob. Um, we've been crushing it on Sonic. It's been a lot, a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And until the very next, oh, make sure, of course, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But until the next video, you guys, this has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming.